Yes, parents in Prince George's County are likely to hear a lot about career and technical education in the coming year. For all the prepping to get kids into college, that's not the only way to go. National and state leaders are pushing hard to get more graduates out the door with trade apprenticeships, industry certifications, and high paying jobs. They just finished meeting a group of kids at Crossland High School, and our Scott Broom has an inside look. U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona just wrapped with students here at Crossland High School this afternoon after hearing that the career and technical education demand is going through the roof among high school students in this county. It doesn't hurt that a bunch of students recently built and sold this house in Brandywine for more than $600,000. The demand is there is what I'm saying. Secretary Cardona meeting with some of the workers on that project at Crossland today to evangelize for high school level career and technical education or CTE for the entire nation. I, I'm a graduate of a technical high school and I saw the bad rap it's gotten in, in the last couple decades. Yet I see folks who are struggling in college debt not making what they thought they were going to be making. And I see a lot of folks who followed their passion in CTE, continued with their skills, maybe got a two-year degree, maybe got a four-year, and are doing really well. We're shortchanging our kids in America if we don't give them the options. Among the students who worked on the house is graduate Javon Washington, now employed as a highly paid plumber. After you get through school, they offer you a two-year degree, and also you leave with 30 credits. So it's a W, it's a win-win. Another graduate, Malik Miles, now making good money as an electrician and explaining that it's his pathway to an engineering degree without crushing student debt. Someone that graduates from a four-year trade will be able to go to college without debt. How much money are you making? I can't <laughs> tell you. <laughs> now, every high school here in Prince George's County offers CTE, and applications exploded last year with 8,000 kids now enrolled. 43 industry credentials are offered from building trades to healthcare and computer tech. School officials here today, including the new superintendent, Millard House, said they aim to promote CTE earlier here in the county and more aggressively to more students and families. In Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.